So Ubuntu 2204 comes out pretty soon, and if you want to set a stack IP, I thought I'd update my videos on showing you how to do this. So lovely jellyfish for the latest version. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a terminal. I'm just going to do lsb underscore release uh, dash a to show you which one I'm running. So I'm running the dev branch, it's the current beta. Um, Anyway, but this won't change uh, between now and release, so no problem there. So the GUI method, just go into up here, the wired connections, wired settings, and then in the cog for the settings, IPv4, set it to manual, put your address in here, uh, net mask in its um, length, and then set your gateway in here, and then apply. You'll need to turn your interface off and back on again, and then if you do an IP address show, you should see that you've got your IP address that you've got here. Um, and also in this bit of text, there's no word that says dynamic, which means it's a static IP address. So we can change that back by going back to the wide settings. And if we do the IP address show, you can see it's got a different IP address here and it's dynamic. So that's how you do it using the GUI method. And now I'll show you how to to, to set yourself a static IP using the uh, netplan configuration file method. The first thing you need to sort of memorize is this uh, interface name. So EMP1S0 uh, is my interface name. Um, you'll just need to know what that is for your machine. And then I'm going to open another tab. New tab. You just edit a file uh, to make this work. So you need to sudo and then I'm going to use nano. Um, and then the file is in itc uh, net plan and then I'm just going to tab out to find the file which is the, the first one and then the first thing we're going to need to do in this file is we need to change the renderer so I'm just going to comment that one out for now and then uh, add a new renderer so in it's, this is a YAML file so in YAML files indents are double spaces don't use tab it won't work so two spaces and then renderer and the renderer we want is network D would help I could spell. Now, in the uh, latest version of Netplan, the configuration file is slightly different to previous. Um, so, underneath renderer, we add Ethernets as we did before. And then, underneath Ethernets, you double, which is four spaces um, in, and then we need to add our interface name, so EMP1S0. And then under that, we need to add the address or addresses. Previously, we would have just uh, put in like a list of the addresses, um, but in the new version, you actually add it in the line underneath. Uh, so you indent in again, then you add a dash and the space and then the IP address that you want. So let's go with 150 and then add the, uh, the network length on the end, so the subnet. And then you need to specify your name servers and you do that in a very similar way to previously. So you have a second uh, configuration of addresses. Put that in brackets as a list. So I'm going to use Cloudflare as my uh, secondary DNS. And this is something that is different in this version to my previous videos. So previously we would have added uh, a gateway for and then give it an IP address for the default gate. You don't do that anymore, so you add uh, roots, and then under roots, you add a dash and then two default, and then under that, you add a via, like so. So then to write this out in nano, it's control and O, and then control X to uh, close that, and then with netplan, you need to apply that. So sudo netplan, apply and I haven't got any errors if I had any errors in the file this is where it would show where the error was in that file so let's have a look at our IP address and you can see we have our IP address that um, we specified and I reckon I can root out so if I ping uh, Cloudflare you can see I'm getting a result from from that as well so that is how you would uh, set a static IP using Netplan in Ubuntu 2204. Slightly different to previous. I'll uh, add my 
bit of code to the description and I'll also add a link to the NetPlan examples website as well. Um, thanks for watching and I hope this has been useful.